what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it looks like david not david darren bozeman the man behind the spiral from the book of saw film that recently came out one of the ninth film in the saw franchise and we know he's worked on previous saw films he has still been clamoring to get a hold of the leprechaun series from lionsgate who we know holds the rights to that franchise and he's saying that he is hell-bent on getting this series and he's hell-bent on doing it with warwick davis back in the role as the leprechaun now what i want to talk about is warwick davis and his lack of participation in leprechaun returns really quickly warwick davis did state that his his reasoning for not being in that film was because of his children he had taken a step away from horror ever since they did ever since they did leprechaun back to the hood just because he is wanting to do different roles given that he's now a parent so his last words in that interview and i'll try to find it and leave a link to it in the description was he said he'll feel he'll accept horror roles once his son turns 18 and that was almost three years ago when his son was 15 three years later his son is about turn about to turn 18 or has already turned 18 his son harrison i believe who was the 15 year old at the time he has already turned 18 years old so warwick davis given his thoughts have not changed over the years he very much well could be up for returning to this franchise and darren bozeman he wouldn't be a horrible fit at all whatsoever to take the helm of this franchise he said this when speaking to movie web about it what he loved about the leprechaun franchise they're ridiculous they're fun they're violent it's a perfect popcorn horror movie it's not trying to be uber serious it's not trying to be uber scary it's just a fun time i think that i miss those type of movies that are just fun while i love the hereditaries and the midsommers the witch those are my favorite type of movies they're not fun your butthole is clenched you're sweating in the movie i want those movies like the final destinations where you where you're high-fiving in the theater you're laughing and i think leprechaun kind of embodies that the more they went on they became more ridiculous i love that i love the fact that they would send leprechaun to the hood and then back to the hood again and again and then the space now me personally i think like the franchise did become of course overly ridiculous as it progressed the first film in and of itself was ridiculous he went on to explain a little bit more about what he's talking about as far as like what he wants to do with the franchise i really want to get a get a time machine and start a whole new franchise i want to send him to the colorado gold rush he's going to go back in time to the colorado gold rush and antics will ensue i will only do it with warwick davis and i will make this happen i will i will will this to an extent i have willed every movie they that I've wanted to do, whether it be a weird rock opera or going to Japan to do a TV series, I've willed shit into existence. I will will a Warwick Davis return to Leprechaun. I love A Nightmare on Elm Street, but I did not love the Jackie Hurley. He's just talking about his thoughts on the Nightmare on Elm Street remake and the replacement for Robert England at this point. So he personally is hell bent on wanting to get this franchise revamped or brought back to the big screen in some capacity or just to have it back in some way the last leprechaun movie we got was in 2018 called leprechaun returns and you know that was a direct sequel to the original film um i did watch that movie i thought it was rather enjoyable not good none of the leprechaun movies are movies i would call good not by any means whatsoever like he said before they're highly ridiculous and that's just what the point of them are they're not to be taken seriously they're not being they're not going to be on any type of grant on any type of academy award listings the only good thing that i guess you could give come out that comes out of this franchise and from this series and from this character is warwick davis himself and this performance that he put on for the first six movies that we got that performance from him was honestly spectacular to watch he was very charismatic in the role of course the leprechaun while being terrifying was also very comical um and then it was just also just like a very bizarre thing to see still to this day when i i remember when i first watched the film i was just taken back by how stupid it was it it genuinely was stupid even as because the first time i saw it i was a little kid i thought that it was stupid but ironically a movie like chucky i didn't find that stupid i guess that lends to the more serious tone that you find in a movie like child's play whereas with this one with jennifer aniston and just as the series progressed they were never taking themselves seriously they're just flat out jokes of films like i said before you're not going to find these in any academy award listings whatsoever the franchise in and of itself is just ridiculous at times so I, what i want to see happen from this series is he wants to take the leprechaun back to the calif the, or the colorado gold rush whether or not that would work 
who knows like i said before warwick davis he embodies this character i would love to see him back in the role i would prefer to see him back in another replacement because we know hornswoggle did it for leprechaun origins from wwe and then we had another replacement for leprechaun returns warwick davis i want him back i think he will be up to come back given his thoughts haven't changed since tw since the last time he had that interview talking about his son turning 18 and being up for horror roles at that point in time i just think that there's no one else that does this character justice it's the same way how when it was kind of odd to see someone else in freddy krueger's makeup for the nightmare on elm street remake warwick davis is that character i've seen him in countless other things he's a tremendous actor his other work is just as spectacular as his work here in the leprechaun series as the titular character um his also his other intentions he stated i think Darren Bo darren bozeman what he stated also was having it set within the original continuity and just kind of having it in between the first film and leprechaun back to the hood so however that works i just think that this franchise did run its course i personally think that it is something that is kind of like at this point why even bother but i am not opposed to another movie if it ends up getting made <laughs> because i watch it i love the leprechaun movies i just am not a big fan of the series overall like it's one of my favorite horror series what i mean by i'm not the biggest fan like i don't i don't love this series the same way i love scream or the same way i love halloween or the same way i love um chucky i don't go around talking about it that much i i have love for it but not as much as the other ones not like jeepers creepers even uh warwick davis coming back in the role would be interesting to see darren bozeman who i think is a he's a he's a decent director honestly i i, I wouldn't want to see any of that ch any of those editing choppy editing takes or those choppy takes shaky cam takes that we get in the saw films in a leprechaun film i would hate to see that uh one of those jarring editing takes but if this happens why lionsgate is not letting him do it who knows why because lionsgate from what i see he, he talks about it on twitter a lot i don't know what it is but lionsgate let this man have a go at it warwick davis back in the character in the role of the character and you have a saw director helming the film that could e easily draw some people people's attention but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you have me to cover in the future all that in my guys i will see you in the next video